If you've seen any of our other videos on this channel, you might have picked up that one of our guiding principles and mantras is to fail fast. And in this instance, I, I definitely failed and it was pretty quick. talking about the CMG virtual machine scale set video that I did a few days ago and uh, it, it looked like it worked right so at the end of the video I was so chuffed I was I was very very pleased that everything had worked and it said ready and I was I was good to go and so I ended the video saying what I'm going to do next is prove that it works and that proving that it works bit didn't go too well because it didn't work at all uh, it didn't even pass the connection analyzer stage, which is the first thing you do. It should have been the first thing I did once I'd finished setting it up. Um, it didn't work. So I want to quickly go into why, because the whole point of this channel is to learn and share the things I learn with the community. So let's jump straight into that. So essentially, it's um, this This is a, a not the exact one that I left you with, because I've, I've been trying to understand what's, what's been going on over the past few days to to test this out. So as you can see, we've got another VM scale set um, uh, cloud management gateway, which is ready. So that's all good. And if we um, if we look at the name, it's it's GMCMG VMSS dot cloud app dot net. And if we just go into that quickly and check out the service name and uh, deployment. So we have the service name of cloud app dot net and the deployment name of UK South dot cloud app dot Azure dot com. So that's how I left it pretty much. The, the the name was slightly different, but otherwise exactly the same. And let's just check out what happened when we do a connection analyzer on this. It asked me to sign in. And now that I'm signed in, I can just click start and it should say, check it's in the ready state. It is. So that's where I left it. That was, that was all I was waiting for. Um, in the last video, I just wanted it to be ready, but it just sticks on connect to the CMG service to see if it's running. And so let's try and figure out what it's doing here. So essentially it's trying to connect to the CMG service. So what is the CMG service then? Well, it's probably the name of my service. So let's take a look at what that is. Just again, it's gmcmgvmss.cloudapp.net. So we open up PowerShell and go to nslookup gmcmg vmss.cloudapp.net and it doesn't exist it's it's not it's not it's not created and this baffled baffled me for a, a few a few hours um and I, I reached out to to some mvps and and microsoft people on twitter to understand what was going on there and um sccm mentor uh, paul win stanley is his actual actual name uh, came back with some really good insights and essentially I've this doesn't exist anymore cloudapp.net is not a thing that is created when you use a VM skill set and the thing that confused me was I, I didn't ask it to create a service called cloudapp.net I just did the default I don't want to use my custom domain which is because I haven't got uh, a certificate provider that I want to use for this so I, I didn't, didn't understand why it created cloudapp.net and then didn't work so how did this cloudapp.net get into this service name? Well, I typed it in the certificate request. So one of the things we do during the configuration of the CMG is to create a certificate for the CMG. And what I did in the last video is essentially go to enroll, request a new certificate and choose the common name of gmcmg vmss dot dot cloud app dot net and what that does is essentially tells the cmg wizard what you want the service name to be and what domain you've got so you could type anything you like in there cloud app dot net obviously worked in the past because it was a vm classic but in the vm skill set this isn't going to work because it, that isn't created 
and what is created is the deployment name. So if we head over to this thing here, you can see you've got this deployment name here. So if I grab uh, this, and if we just look up, what is it? UK, so it's the region, and then cloud app dot Azure, and we'll say dot net there, dot Azure dot com. This exists, so this has an IP. This has been created in uh, Azure for us. So essentially, I we shouldn't have used cloud.net. What we should have done is created a certificate which said gmcmgvmss.uksouth.cloudapp.azure.com. I'll, I'll show you what that looks like uh, there. So that, this is obviously the second one that I was testing with. So gmcmgvmss.uksouth.cloudapp.azure.com, and that will work. So then it will create the service name which isn't cloudapp.net. And obviously, I've I've tested that out to make sure it does work before I embarrass myself further and this next one here you can see I've got two here this one here has been done in that correct way by creating a certificate which doesn't reference a name that doesn't exist so if we go to settings you can see it says the service name is this one here and the deployment name matches so this is the name I used for the certificate for the common name on the certificate and this is much better so when I go into the uh, when I go into the connection analyzer on this one, it has a different output, which is good. Let's take a look. So it connects, and it uh, it says connect to the CMG service to see if it's running. Um, and I get all the way down to the bottom and then fails on this step here. Now what it says is uh, this this error is it's not related to the to the DNS issue that I was just I was just showing you, but uh, this error essentially talks about the user that's running this test and whether they're fully discovered in Azure AD. And actually, what I've done in all of my videos so far is used Dean at GetModern.co.uk, and that's not a user that exists in my on-premise domain and hasn't been synchronized and all that kind of stuff. So this actually isn't the right user to be testing this with. It happens to be my, to be my global admin, but it's not the right user to test with. So if we go and choose a user who is discovered and, and, and synchronized and choose Lucy, for example, and run the same test, you can see it gets all the way down to the bottom and test the CMG channel and it gets a token and, and works fine. So what I've learned is that I should, um, read the documentation, that's a good one, but also um, test it fully before saying that it works. So huge apologies to anyone who has followed the video and got to the same stage and it's not working. I haven't seen any comments on the on the channel around that, but this will be linked directly after that video to hopefully let people know that it's not, it's not perfect and we need to, to do a few different things. Uh, but I also wanted to explain, you know, how this is actually working and why it didn't work and all that kind of stuff. It, it's, it's a learning experience for me really and, and hopefully you're sharing in that. So this was all sort of leading up to me trying to test whether the CMG worked, which it kind of almost does now. I haven't actually deployed anything via it or connected any clients to it. That's in the next video that I'm going to do, hopefully really soon. So that's what I'm gonna do next and hopefully we'll see that actually work in a little while. If you've liked this video, please hit like and subscribe. If you haven't liked it, let me know in the comments, but hopefully you have. See you next time.